Hi, it's Cory, and today you're going to learn how to play Rewrite the Stars from The Greatest Showman. Before we get into the tutorial, I just want to give a shout out to my patrons who have actually chose this song as their March Song of the Month. Every month they get to choose between a variety of songs that I then make tutorials for, and this is the one they voted on for this month. I'd love to give a couple shout outs to my gold tier members in particular, and they are Rosemary Bristol, Christine Trelana, Glenn Clement, Perry Payne, Mary Richardson, Yuki, and Stefan Ramirez, as well as all of my other gold tier members that prefer to stay anonymous. And thank you always to all of my patrons. I love having you guys in my community. It's been really fun to make videos for you as well as see your progress along the way. If you're at all interested in joining my Patreon community and getting access to the lead sheets that go along with all the tutorials that I do as well as a lot of other resources and guided notes and worksheets and things like that, make sure to check it out down in the description box. I'd love to have you join the community to really help you elevate your ukulele playing and musicianship to that next level, as well as it's a really great way to support the channel in addition to being a really awesome viewer. So let's hop into the tutorial. Before we talk about the starting pattern or the chords, let's make sure your ukulele is in tune. That's gonna be a G on the fourth string, a C on the third string, an E on the second string, and then an A on the first string. For this song, we need five different chords. And really of the five, you're only using four main ones. And then one of them you only play like one time in the entire song. So it's almost like a four chord song. The first chord we're gonna need is the B flat major chord. For that, you're taking your first finger, placing it along the first and second strings barring. And then you're taking your second finger, placing it on the third string, second fret. And then your third finger is going on the fourth string, third fret. You also need a D minor chord, and this is actually the chord that you're only gonna play one time and it takes place in the bridge. But to make the D minor, you're taking your first finger, placing it on the first fret second string, your second finger is going on the second fret fourth string, and then your third finger is going on the second fret third string. We also need an E flat major. So for that, you're taking your first finger, placing it on the first fret first string, then your second finger is going on the third fret third string, and your third finger is going on the third fret second string. You'll also need an F major. For that, you're taking your first finger, placing it on the second string first fret, and then you're placing your second finger on the second fret fourth string. And then finally, we're using the G minor chord. So for that, you're taking your first finger, placing it on the first fret first string. Your second finger is going on the second fret third string and your third finger then goes on the third fret second string. And just as a note with that G minor in the song, you're always going to be rotating from the G minor to the E flat major. So a really great trick there is they share two strings um, at all times. So here's that G minor. The only thing you have to do to change this to an E flat major is move your second finger down a fret on the same string. So again, here's that G minor to that E flat major. So one more time, here's my G minor to the E flat major. So just think of that when you're transitioning between those two chords, you really don't have to lift up your hand at all. It's just lifting up the one finger or your second finger and then moving it down a fret. So let's talk about strumming patterns for this song. We're gonna be utilizing three different strumming patterns, but two of them are really, really basic and I think you'll pick up right away. The first strumming pattern we're gonna be utilizing is just playing on the chord changes. And that's gonna happen in both the intro and the outro, as well as the first part of each of the verses. So for instance, what that looks like is with the intro, we have that B flat to start on. You know I want you. So all you're doing is strumming a down strum on where that chord falls. The same thing is going to be true when it comes to the first part of verse two, as well as the outro as well. From there, we're going to utilize a down, down, down strumming pattern on the verses. So that will sound like using the first verse as an example when we get to that F. Down, down, down. So that first line that you start using the strumming pattern will take place on verse one, where we have, you claim it's not in the cards and fate is pulling you miles away and out of reach from me. So 
you can hear that down, 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 and you're just playing on a down strum on that pattern too. For the chorus, we're gonna be moving to a down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down strumming pattern. Played on a G minor, it's gonna sound like this. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. Slower, it's down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. You're gonna be playing this strumming pattern once per chord and the progression that you're gonna repeat throughout the chorus is gonna be G minor to E flat to then B flat to F. So that progression sounds like this. What if we rewrite the stars? Say you were made to be mine. So you can hear that down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, down. If that seems a little bit too complicated for you, you could always continue playing on that down, down, down strumming pattern, or just playing on the beat, or of course playing on the chord change too. Do whatever works best for you. I'd highly recommend not jumping to the strumming pattern if you're not solidified and mastered in the chords for the songs. If you have to worry about the chords and you're thinking about that, it's gonna be really hard to maintain a consistent, steady strumming pattern while still thinking about how to make those chords. I would also add really quick before the play along is that when you're moving from the verse to the chorus, you can take a little bit of a pause. So what that means is when it's on, so who can stop me if I decide that you're my destiny, you're on that E flat and you could have, if I decide that you're my destiny, you can on destiny just play that E flat and let it ring and then go into the chorus. Or you can continue that down, down, down starting pattern all the way until when you switch to the chorus, which would sound like this. That I decide that you're my destiny. What if we rewrite the... And you can see how you can transition there. So once you understand the chords, you have those mastered, and you know the different strumming patterns, the next step is just to put it all together. So let's do that in the playthrough. One, two, three. You know I want you It's not a secret I try to hide I know you want me So don't keep saying our hands are tied You claim it's not in the cards And fate is pulling you miles away And out of reach from me but you're here in my heart, so who's to stop me if I decide that you're my destiny? What if we rewrite the stars, say you were made to be mine? Nothing could keep us apart, you'd be the one I was meant to find. It's up to you, and it's up to me. No one can say what we get to be Why don't we rewrite the stars? Maybe the world could be ours tonight You think it's easy You think I don't want to run to you But there are mountains and there are doors that we can't walk through I know you're wondering why Because we're able to be just you and me Within these walls But when we go outside You're gonna wake up and see That it was hopeless after all No one can rewrite the stars How can you say
You know I want you It's not a secret I try to hide But I can't have you We're bound to break and my hands are tied I hope you found that tutorial for Rewrite the Stars helpful. Thank you so much again to my patrons for voting on this song. Of course, I'm always happy to have any of the songs I put like for the options, but I was like particularly excited about this one. If there are other songs that you really love from The Greatest Showman, make sure to comment below. I have another one in the works for this month, but there are a lot of like just awesome songs from that musical. So if you have a favorite, let me know and it might already be planned or I might just have to make a video for it. But thank you guys so much and I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. What if we